welcome back in today's video we are going to be deploying a node js application on a c panel with me here i have a node js application running on my roco server it's basically uh, some lines of code defined here to just check for database connection and to render that on the template so i have my app.js here with some few lines of code and we also have the template here uh, just to take note that uh, one of the extensions for uh, the templates in node.js we use ejs and uh, we have the database config here so basically this is where we, we are trying to establish the connection and we have also created a env file where we store uh, the database credentials so uh, my my web application is uh, running on a local server listening to and that's why i'm able to access it on this uh, url so just ensure you have a working application from your end all right so the, the next thing that we need to do you also need access to a cpanel and uh, an added advantage of that you need to have terminal enabled on your c panel the, the other thing you also need to have a subdomain or a domain uh, whichever and it needs to be connected to that c panel and also the c panel in question should be able to support node.js applications once you have that in place then i think we can proceed from that point all right so we are going to create a node.js application on our c panel so that at least we are first of all able to serve that here so let me navigate to my cpanel just log in with whatever credentials uh, you are given by your hosting provider i'll be checking for node.js set up node.js application all right so the subdomain i want to uh, to deploy our application is car.dtechnologies.com so let me just come here and i'll be clicking on this button here create application so uh, here you have quite a number of things to uh, to set in place one of them is the node version we have quite a number of uh, versions here so i'll be working with this version basically it's not always that all these versions will work so just select probably the, the recommended or recommended minus one or even the the latest but should that not work then you can always try to check around for other versions and the common error is usually error 500 that is immediately you create this uh, application instead of getting some success message you get error 500 that will simply tell you that something is not working with the current version so just come delete that application and rebuild it with another version so in my case i'm going to work with 16.20.2 right then i'm going to set this one into production right then for the root application i'll be working with car.dtechnologies.com right so also for the application url just select that here all right then uh, you also need to uh, mention the application startup file so what happens is that um, our application entry file in our case is app.js this one so basically this is the default entry file but in some case you may have index.js as the entry file app.js being the default entry file it will be created automatically here so in case app.js is your default file then you do not need to input anything here just click on create otherwise if you have a different one probably index.js then be sure to put it here in my case i'll just proceed and create all right so uh, let's just come here reload great so getting this message this is the message of hope showing you that uh, your current version is working all right so uh, we see that application startup file has been uh, populated with app.js then uh, uh, what is happening here we are also trying to check if we detect uh, these file here containing 
uh, our project dependencies, the package.json. So for now, we haven't uploaded any website file. That is why we get uh, that this section is not active. Another thing is that uh, if you will be working with environment variables, then this is the section where you can add them. All right, in my case, I'll not be adding anything. So let's proceed and upload our website files. So what we need to do, we need to navigate to file manager. Then we need to locate, we need to locate um, this folder here, the folder that we set here to act as our application root. So we can just click on go or alternatively just select it here. All right, so we have some few files that have been generated, right? So uh, there are quite a number of ways uh, to get our files from our local machine to the server, but we are going to use the easiest of all, which happens to, to be compressing our project for code and uploading them through the file manager. So this is uh, the folder containing our website files. So I'll just come here, uh, compress that should be a zip then create so this is what i get so back back to this uh root folder for our project i need to click on this upload then select then i need to navigate to uh, i need to navigate to coding or js so this is the file that i just compressed so just click on open So just wait for it until it turns color. So once that happens, just click on go back. And uh, here we are, we have our website file uploaded. So just click on that. Then we have this option of extract. Confirm that I should extract in this location. All right, so as you can see, uh, our files have been uh, extracted to this folder. Let's move into that. Then we need to select everything. Then we have this move option. Where is it? All right, we have the move option. We need to move uh, these files to our root folder for our web application, which happens to be car.dtechnologies.com. Once we do that, confirm the move files. All right, in case you extracted your files and they were uploaded here, then you do not need to move them since this is the root directory all right so the next thing that we need to do is that uh, we need to we need to install our our project dependencies so seeing that we we compressed our project with uh, the node modules this is not the recommended way we needed not to have uh, 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 uploaded the node modules files so in this case i'm just going to delete them or to delete that folder all right because uh, once we get to the server we are going to install the dependencies of this project so the next thing that we need to do is that uh, we need to install the dependencies of our project so back to our node js application if we reload this uh, we want to to try and see if the package.json will be active, will be detected. So we see that our package.json has been detected. So this is one of the ways that you can use to install the dependencies of your project. All right, in my case, I prefer using the terminal. It's usually pretty fast. So I'll navigate back to the terminal. This is the terminal. Then in my Node.js application, I need to copy this uh, ring here. It's basically the, the virtual environment ring. Once I do that, press enter. So it will activate the virtual environment and uh, navigate me to my project folder. So the, the, the next thing that I need to do, I need to run npm install so that I install the dependencies for this project. So let's proceed. All right, and uh, in some few, uh, let me call it seconds, I've been able to install all the packages. All right, so the next thing I need to do is to come back to my, my subdomain, all domain, and reload. All right, and I see that uh, my web application has been served, but 
it's having an issue so there's basically an issue with uh, the database all right so we'll be configuring our database we'll be configuring our database so if we okay let me reload so basically i have defined uh, i have defined my database settings in a .env file so i need to enable hidden files this is where to do that then click on save so i'm able to view my .env file so let me view it so these are the database settings and i'll be using these to set up my database all right so i'll be talking of my sql SQL so I'll be using this database wizard to set up my DB all right so all I need here I need node test I need node test next step okay I'll also use that for the username that's what I have here that's for the user and for the DB then for the password let me use this Let me use that let me use that as well so just press on create user and uh, in a few seconds a user has been created and added to the database so all we need now is to give them all the privileges or the privileges of choice that we need to uh, to give them just select what you need but in a case that you are not sure just press this option here all privileges and press make changes so by doing that our database has been created with these credentials so let's just come back here and reload and we see that our connection has been established and we are now able to access our website online so that is it and in case whatever changes you make do not reflect then you can always come to your node.js application and press on this restart button so that's it that's how simply to uh, deploy a node.js application on a C panel in case you need a hosting service then be sure to check out the link in the description below uh, and uh, select the hosting package of your choice that has support to node js application and that marks the end of this session be sure to subscribe to this youtube channel like this video and also drop your thoughts in the comment section below bye bye